Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh! Oh, that, oh, that is nasty. It is just waiting. Waiting until I wake up. And then it knocks me out again. Hello everyone, my name is Susonis and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, the additional creatures mod. Yeah, yeah, woohoo, it started to rain, oh my god. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the mod. Uh, the mod has been updated a while ago and uh, I'm late with the update video, but yeah, I got sick and all that kind of things. Uh, but I don't like the rain. Do you remember this creature from one of the previous videos? If not, well, go check it out, the link is under the information button, it's the Prognator done. And uh, we have checked that one out and also some other water creatures. The Great White Shark, the East Manostos that you see here, the Hammerhead and also the Dacosaurus. Oh my god, that was so amazing. If you haven't seen that one, oh my god, this one this one is really amazing. It has some nice tricks. It can uh, uh, fly in the air. Yes, check it out. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh my god, it is so amazing. But there is now a new water creature. Uh, uh, well, there are now two new water creatures in this mod. And the first one we're gonna check out is this one. It is called the Arapaima, Arapaima, I believe. I don't know if I pronounced it correct. But the head, the head reminds me, the flat head reminds me of the head of a pike. If you don't know what a pike is, you can see it in your screen now. And uh, this creature, even though it looks so ancient, it is still alive these days. I believe, I'm not sure, it is in the Amazon River. And it is uh, one of the biggest or the biggest uh, fresh water fish there is. And yeah, it looks so cool. It is nice. And uh, the model looks nice, the, the movements are nice. So I, I think this one works nicely. Uh, you can also ride them. And first we're gonna check out the stats. At level 1 this one has 740 health, 400 stamina, 600 weight, 210 melee damage and 100% movement speed. And like I said you can ride them and why do you want to tame them? Well maybe for the looks. But I don't think you want to tame them for riding them because... Yeah check it out this is normal movement speed. And then we have fast movement speed. So, I don't think you're gonna tame this one uh, because of the movement speed. And if you want to have an arrow primer for yourself that is beautiful looking but really slow, well, <laughs> you can tame them, but you need to hand feed them. And uh, with hand feeding, it is a pest tame, but you need to look out because they are defensive. If you get too close, they will attack you, so look out for that. And uh, yeah, let's check the attack animations. We have left mouse click. That's the inhale bite attack. It will almost instantly uh, kill all small fish. And we have also a right mouse click, that's the head bump attack. So it will bump with its head and it does torpor. So let's see if we can do it again, it has a small delay, there it was again. And um, yeah, if you gonna tame this one and this one will head bump you, you will get knocked out. So of course we have to test it out, so I have some prime fish meat with me. So uh, I'm gonna try to swim close, I can feed it, yes. 10% with raw prime fish meat. Okay, now we get... Whoa, and there it was. <laughs> I want to say, now we get really close and uh, I got knocked out. Oh my god, what a... Are you now on me? With the attack of this one, I lost 40 health and uh, yeah, I'm losing my torpor now a little bit. And my oxygen, but I got knocked out instantly. Oh my god, so... <laughs> I can imagine it will be a pain to tame this one if you get too close and you get knocked out like me. And I'm almost dying now. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh! Oh, that, oh, that is nasty. It is just waiting. Waiting until I wake up. And then it knocks me out again. And you're gonna do it again in a moment, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. It is a fu funny thing, but yeah. You can al also use this for your advantage, of course, so uh, once you have it tamed, I know they are slow. I can imagine, for example, you have a pen of those Arapaimas and uh, you lure, uh, yeah, what kind of creature, Mosa to it or something. Uh, they can uh, then attack it and then uh, they can knock out the creature for you. Alright, uh, I'm still level 1, yeah, still level 1, so we're gonna try the left mouse click on this big one. 210 damage and indeed one shot it. Okay, so let's see that the same attack left mouse button on this Megalodon. What is the amount of damage we do then? 21. So indeed to the smaller fish uh, they do uh, 10 times more damage than to a normal creature. And let's check, um, does this one has any torpor now? No. Okay, 
So, uh, hold it, ride it. Right mouse click. Okay, we did 42. And how much torpor did we do? About 145. Okay. Let's see what will happen if we level the melee damage all the way to the max. So, I am now level 72. Okay, the Megalodon is out of torpor, so... Oh, d don't hit this one. <laughs> Let's do it again. Right mouse click. 101. And we did now more than two times the amount of torpor. So, uh, yeah, uh, leveling up the melee damage definitely helps. So, that is it for the Orapaima, the ancient looking fish that is still alive these days. And now it is time for this beauty. Check it out. It's the Orca. How nice is it? And the black is really black. Oh my god, you almost don't see uh, the, the light on it. So, uh, yeah, as you can see here, the, the light shining on, on, on the creature. You almost don't see it on this creature. So, yeah, th that is a little bit... Uh, um, um, yeah, I don't want to say disappointing, but it would be nice if, if you could see uh, yeah, the light effect on it. Because there is its eye, but you almost don't see it. But it is a beautiful creature. And uh, let me put that away. Hello, you're talking. <laughs> nice. So, let's see the stats of a level 1. At level 1 it has 640 health, 890 stamina, 540 weight, 210% melee and 100% movement speed. Now you probably wonder, how can I tame an orca? Well, you need to hand feed them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you need to do is uh, go in the wa water and... Um, well, uh, and n not uh, leave your example uh, laying in the water like this. Oh my freaking lord. What happened to you? Did, 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 did you go out boxing or something? Oh my god, you're on the jaw. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, th th this is an, uh, a, a little... Uh, Juvenile Orca. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is not uh, um, uh, what I had in my mind. Well, um, yeah, I had a little one uh, swimming here and there's still one swimming over there in the distance, all the way in the distance. What you need to do is uh, when you find them uh, in the wild, there are probably small ones uh, swimming with them because you cannot tame the big ones. So you have to tame those little ones. And as it says, put taming food in last item slot to feed. So you need to hand feed these beauties just like uh, you do with, with the dolphin, the, uh, the ichthyo and, and that kind of things. And of course you can ride these creatures. And the nice thing is that what you can do is if you uh, press right click. Check it out. <laughs> you, you flip your tail up. So if uh, someone would be standing there then you can flip him up in the air. So yeah, that reminds me a little bit of that game that... Uh, how how uh, is that game called? Oh, I don't remember. I believe it was Yeti Sports or something. S E Yeti, but also as an Orca. Uh, yeah, penguins were falling down and then you had to do this. And then uh, the penguin got slapped up. And I believe with the uh, Orca you need to, to pin them down in a wall or in a dartboard or something. And with the Yeti you need to um, uh, smash them with a baseball club and, and smash them as far away as possible <laughs> so um, let's check the damage output of this one because this one also has a bite attack as you can see here oh it is just the underjaw doing something and that's it okay I was hoping that it uh, would do some more movement but sadly enough it doesn't do that so uh, yeah let's check it out on this Megalodon so at level 1 it does 109 damage with left mouse click Okay, and right mouse click, do we do any damage? Two. Okay, that is, that is not a lot. So yeah, don't use the right mouse click to, to damage your targets. Uh, it is just, I think, for uh, <laughs> creational use for uh, with other tribe mates and to fly them up in the air. And uh, yeah, left mouse click, I think 109 for a level one is a decent amount of damage. And the speed of this bad boy, I, I think it is decent at level 1. It is not really super fast or something, but yeah, you can level it up to be faster. But I think, yeah, it's a decent amount of speed. Oh, and a nice thing to know, if you ride them, uh, they give the same insulation above as uh, the Bacillosaurus. Alrighty, that is it for the Orca. Now it is time for the next new creature. Ta-da, 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 check it out, the giant lizard. Or, uh, how is this one called? The Faranidae? Faranidae? Something like that? Oh my god. No! Why? Why again rain? <laughs> this center map is really a map full of rain. Oh my god. But this creature, check how it looks. Doesn't it look awesome? 
And um, 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 how are they also called in real life? Uh, Komodo dragons or something? Or are that not the same creatures? I'm not sure. <laughs> may, may, maybe I'm mistaking them. But yeah, the, the model looks fine, isn't it? Of course, it is not uh, not as the standard as an orc creature. You cannot compare that. Oh, hello you. But uh, I, I think the model is fine and the movements are nicely here. So let's check the stats of a level 1. At level 1 it has 480 health, 680 stamina, 350 weight, 175 melee and 100% movement speed. And uh, yeah, I want to put it next to the Megalania that we have over there and we can check the movements of course a little bit. So this is normal walking, this is running. And uh, the turning radius, turning radius is fine. It is, oh, it is a little bit drifting. <laughs> it is a little bit drifting. Um, yeah, let's put you next to the Megalania. Check it out. It is much bigger. And uh, yeah, the movement, the movements here. Yeah, it is nice. Did, did you see it? Yeah, do you see that? Is, it is working nicely. They say that on the land and in the water it should be uh, decently fast, so uh, or decently moving. Well, I think it is a, a nice moving animation, J just yeah, as usual with, with those creatures. And we want to see, of course, the damage output and the attacks. So on the water, we have oh, we have a claw attack, I guess, and then we have right mouse click. That's some kind of a bite attack. So the attacks of this creature are the same as the attacks of a Dilo when it spits at you. So it slows you down, it uh, blurs your vision and the kind of things. But let's see the uh, attack. At level 1 this one does uh, 59 damage with left mouse click. Then we have right mouse click. Uh, do we need stamina or something? No, it is... Uh, maybe that is not something for under the water. So, again, left mouse click, 59, right mouse click, 77, oh, that, that looked cool, oh, and, and weird at the same time, it, it does a body slam, okay, so uh, let's do that next to this, much jobs, ooh, some kind of a knockback, and as you can see, they are now slowed down, cool, right mouse click, and then we had, uh, X? No, C. Ah, C, that was just for the, for the looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, a nice new creature. Cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, then it is time for this creature again. The Drake. And the Drake is now finished. I've checked this one out before. And, uh, yeah, the Drake has been updated. It has now the Fireball and the Firebreath attack. Pre previously, it was only the level up animation. And, ooh, about the level up animations, I need to check that of the creatures of course as well there we go okay that does the the hiss let's see do you have a level up animation ah it does the the flip attack there we go no nothing okay <laughs> no level up animation but yeah the drake the drake is back in town and the drake uh, yeah the drake is really awesome i i love the drake this is so cool so yeah these are the basic animations running um, uh, killing Dodo's well, you run, walking, um, there we have a Parasaur, you have uh, left mouse click is a bite, right mouse click is the claw attack, and then you can harvest also materials like an Enki. It has reduced weight for that kind of things, uh, for, for what is it, metal and that kind of things. Um, let's see, uh, then we have C, it's a fire breathing attack, and then we have also this one the fireball attack oh i already put something on fire okay i'm sorry <laughs> that not was not supposed to happen already okay let's try out left out click at level one it does 437 damage okay then we have right mouse click 262 and that can hit two times and uh, then of course we have the breathe attack so we're gonna press c it does 140 oh my god Oh, that is a lot. 140 for each uh, hit it takes with the fire. And then we're gonna do the fire breathing. Or oh, the fire breathing, the fireball, I mean. So, let's see. Can we hit that parasaur up there? X. Oh, 
Too high, too high, too high. And it has a, a, a small cooldown. I'm so bad at this. There it is. 170. Oh, it died. Oh, dang. You need to stay alive. 220. Oh, it died also. Can you stay alive? 699. 25, 25. Oh my god. So, uh, different kind of amounts of uh, damage. Ooh. Come on, hit again. 1400. Oh my god. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it has... I, I don't know what the uh, average is now, but uh, it has a high amount of damage. And uh, I think it's just is a cool creature. <laughs> I don't know if it suits uh, in the additional creatures mod. Uh, I think it will also suit in the uh, Peria Mitas Evolve mod. That one has also been updated, so I need to check that out soon as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.